Aid trucks were seen on the Israeli side of the Karim Shalom border crossing after Israel's military announced a daily pause in its offensive. The pause applies to about seven and a half miles of road in the Rafah area in order to allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza, where more than 80 percent of the population has been displaced. However, the military said fighting in the city of Rafah, where Israel is targeting Hamas, would continue. In Jerusalem, funeral services were held for one of the eight Israeli soldiers killed Saturday in Rafah in the deadliest Hamas attack in months. Also in Jerusalem Sunday, thousands of Muslim worshippers gathered at the Al-Aqsa Mosque to attend prayers for the Eid al-Adha holiday. But what is usually a festive celebration is overshadowed by the ongoing war. In the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunus, worshippers held prayers by the ruins of a destroyed mosque. This man saying this Eid, there isn't any signs of celebration. There are no sacrificed animals. Now we sacrifice ourselves. In a statement, President Biden noted that the holiday comes at a difficult time for many Muslims around the world, saying in Gaza, too many innocent people have been killed, including thousands of children, and that his administration is doing everything it can to end the war free the hostages, deliver humanitarian relief, and work toward a future two-state solution. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.